ABBA 6 October 29, 2018 ABBA Heart in the Heart of Each A, is again present. Beloved, we will continue the questions, testimonials, trade. Voice, I have a written question, it has been said a few months ago by Abba or Biddy but very elusive way, that the light was so dominant now that our bodies were not affected by the poisons present in our food. Can you confirm that? Thank you. Beloved E, this is true and true, as soon as joy has covered all plots of this body of flesh. Obviously, you are not unaware that many brothers and sisters are still suffering from these poisons. This would become an inescapable truth that is already experienced by many of you. However, there are certainly more poisons than others, however, it should be avoided in order not to precede the call. To say now that all that is harmful to the body of flesh is no longer active is not entirely fair. It is the impact on consciousness itself that are no longer relevant. And today you see among you, as explained in our previous interview, countless brothers, beyond the suffering of any kind, still live this peace and this joy. So even, you demonstrate by what is happening now, and that was announced a few months ago, the reality of the process. Consciousness, the light, being, and non-being, taking over on the balance of the body of flesh and consciousness of the person. This is truth. And this of course causes a number of changes, either physiologically, energy, metabolic, short, at all levels of the life you lead. This effect is not a fact that you could name substitution or chelation, or removal by the excretory organs, but rather an additional layer added over the ephemeral, to protect somehow consciousness the ephemeral, all violations related to the ephemeral. This undoubtedly contributes to the installation of joy and peace, and just as inevitably lead on bliss. Joy taking all space, all time, all consciousness, you are not in the discrimination of what is good or bad for you. This does not mean that you have the ability to digest or endure, tolerate poisons. It simply means that they have no direct action now on your conscience. This also means that all strategies, conscious or unconscious related to sales, and related to predation manifested since the beginning of what we call the industrial era, and that has strengthened as in generations, no longer has the same impact on the consciousness. So all that was consciously or unconsciously intended to slow the deployment of love is neutralized by love itself. This does not mean that your body has become immune to poison, but that body awareness has exceeded the effect of these poisons. That is the true explanation, the true physiology or chemistry of the interaction between your body and ephemeral eternity body, and intelligence of the light. Silence. Beloved, we can proceed. Voice, we expect the oral questions. Or testimony. Voice. There is a question. Participant, Beloved Abba, how can we support the current suffering on earth with animals, humans, suffering from intolerable for some? And be in joy, is that enough to support it and cross it with a light heart? Because when you listen to the testimonies of the world, people who suffer so really, but it's horrible what is happening, for example for the children, I will not say more. Be in joy, is that enough or when do we want to take action and really do things? Beloved, the action is only reaction and result beyond doubt reactivation of duality, either in you or in the circumstances. This is not going in the direction of the light. Furthermore, I remind you that even at the individual level, not to mention the events and the current transformation, 
there is the human background something that whatever suffering he eventually exists a resilience effect. This resilience effect simply means that the more you go down, the more you can go. It has been said many times, even if it is not accessible in full you accept by the experience of bliss, that everything is strictly in its place. I can even say that this suffering, regardless of intolerable side, expressed for example for children, or the very conditions of the simple life in this world, that become in many countries increasingly problematic if not more, is also an agent that serves the light. The brothers and sisters suffering from these kinds of suffering, regardless of the intolerable aspect, I'll admit, is real for the person and very concrete, nothing to weigh the lightness of bliss. The best solutions and the best proaction is to develop in you bliss. Thus shalt thou serve these children, resonance, without knowing them, showing them the truth of joy. They do not need to see you, they do not need your words, they simply need what you are, there is the real antidote if I can say, not in a reaction as they will occur within humanity, in reaction to confinement, predation, falsehood and misrepresentation. I can assure you that whatever the appearances, and you will see through your joy, obviously many brothers and sisters, many among the animal people live intolerable suffering. But in all suffering, there is awareness, awareness of animal suffering is real, by means of education and slaughter present within mankind. All this, you have two ways to consider it, I would say three. Either it does not concern you, which will become increasingly hard seeing the disappearance of sales and one's ability to feel any other, whether human, animal, or vegetable, or mineral. The chemistry it takes place here, not in reaction or action of any kind. It is located inside. And I remind you that here, too, it is the intelligence of the light that has illuminated this suffering, animal, children, human people in its entirety, of the entire earth if you prefer. But it has always been said that more suffering and chaos would grow more joy would be present. This is exactly what you are experiencing. And those who live with intensity, with full, frankly, do not have to worry. Obviously that this suffering is visible, it is not forbidden to sympathize, it is not obviously prohibited to help. But help is given, procured by the intelligence of the light and through your presence, is much more intense and much more efficient than direct action of any nature whatsoever in this world. So there is actually to consider this suffering because it is real, because as you say even those who did not see before, now rediscovering this animal suffering, suffering and predation exerted against the children against human groups, whatever. No matter because the solution is really love. Love never fights. Love shines. Love shines. It resonates, it illuminates, it transcends it transmutes even the greatest suffering. So you'll never be more useful by being yourself, not in the character, but in the character, in the heart of the heart, in this evidence in this joy, in the ineffable love that begins to emanate each of you. The solution is here, with lighting that will certainly become more and more violent the circumstances of earth. But it is precisely this light and this suffering which allows the famous resilience which actually allows its resolution. And that, with an efficiency that will be and is already much more intense than the pain of revelation, or of suffering itself of those who live it. Silence. The actual lighting of the truth, and this has been said, the truth will destroy this world, because this world is not true. Love is real, life is real but not the joint that have made companies, 
not those you call those who direct or control, or think direct and control, humanity towards something which does not correspond to peace and love. There is no solution of continuity in the illusion. What you do not see at the moment will be informed very quickly now, just about anything that is related to suffering and joy, to its opposite. Then of course, compassion itself and felt this pain, and the display of this suffering, which is none other than the lighting of light, actually can cause you to reactions. You see it also in countless countries at present, where a lot of changes at the same level of what you call the governments, are being made, not by the governments themselves, but by the awareness that takes place among the peoples. This awareness can actually achieve collectively, to decisions that may initially appear reckless, guided by anger, driven by the need for truth, for the thirst to restore harmony, but this will never work. The only thing that will work is the bliss of who you are. Lighting participates at first violence of suffering, because everything must be revealed to you, because truth is to appear in full with no mask and no makeup. This period, sometimes painful for some of you, as I said will be covered with joy, that will transcend all these sufferings and show you the inner workings beyond appearances and beyond emotions, and Della reactions to what happens through what is illuminated, and can give the feeling of immediate resilience by the revelation and acceptance of what is true, in that it occurred on this earth. All this involved the release of the story, not by the reaction, but actually by revelation. It is this revelation that allows not violence mechanism, but lighting. And it is the lighting itself just dissolve the reality of the suffering. Everyone obviously still participates in the same way to this transcendence of humanity. But it is much more certain that a brother or sister who simply remain in this peace, who sees all this suffering and absorbs in his heart so to speak, actually dissolves. This is achieved by spirit and truth, will almost instantly realize on this earth. There is no more time, there is more time, everything is immediate, everything is spontaneous. The more of you to remain in this bliss beyond any will, the more you will see both the bright light, even for you, and you have perfectly expressed in your previous testimony, but also in the world. The human being has never been united, has never been naked in suffering. Suffering is not necessary, but unfortunately is the reality of this world. Love is the bomb, love is the only therapy, there exists no other. All the rest are merely reactions that are obviously related to empathy, compassion, but does not allow you, unfortunately, completely remove this suffering, then that love him can, without any difficulty. And these creatures, despite their suffering and the terrible suffering endured by the person may be more willing to love than he who lives his life quietly and is only concerned about anything. There is no one to judge, remember, everything is in its right place. Even in an apparent ignominy, do not get carried away by emotion, do not let either carried away with the need to help other than being yourself because that is how you serve the better, see thus you are true. And I have said before, nothing can oppose the truth, the bliss, the bliss, and love. The smile is the most persuasive weapon and efficiently on suffering, yours is that of another. This is not the smile of mockery, it is not derision, but it is much of the transcendence of suffering. Suffering tenses you at any level whatsoever. It slows you down, it will freeze. It causes many effects on the functioning of the individual, we all know, we all lived without exception. Whatever our spiritual comfort or our material wealth, the suffering was everywhere. Today you have the possibility, 
real and concrete, by joy, by bliss, just by peace by peace, by laziness, by the way child, to have a share, even therapeutic, on the whole, far more efficient than any action, even the most justified. This does not mean that nothing should be done. Being in love, I repeat, is the best possible actions, because it is not guided by the need to restore anything, because it is not guided by compassion and needs to right the wrongs, but by a sense of service to the truth and not to the person. The person takes advantage of course, and this is also the best way for that person who is the subject of your love to live and find its resilience despite the situation and paradoxically also thanks to her, even if it is hard to hear, the truth of being and the truth of love. Silence The difficulty in this period, and you see all around you at home, will be to remain quiet before the revelation of all that is wrong. This revelation is essential because it will free you. It should not cause you to anger, it should not lead you into anything other than live bliss, because there is the best action, not reaction, and yet involves sedation suffering, not at the level of an individual this time, but on the entire human collective. There are also more and more, to find out that as soon as a brother or sister is organizing a session, call it what you want, of love, joy, without words, consolidation, an idea, a perpetual love bath, therapeutic work whatever it is, is only an alibi to actually get together in the same resonance. And this resonance then, when you are both together in the name of Christ Matrix, then the cure is there. The miracles that have made some miracle workers, the closest we master Philippe de Lyon, and of course the great mystics, who succeeded in the history, today you are at the door all without exception to realize the same thing, you have of course, but also for any other. Remember, in this world event which disintegrates, you are not the person, or what you believe to be. Certainty will happen beyond even of eternity and bliss is that you are also the intelligence of the light in action, by love, in this world, not by any intention, but simply by your welcome, your gaze that crosses the intolerable, not to ignore, not to turn away, but precisely by the light that is in your heart, not by your will, that will bring a solution space for all the suffering of any kind and any kind, this time collectively. That's why the epidemic of joy and love, as you can see everywhere, becoming more and more brothers and sisters, all over this planet, without reason, without justification, without work. Ask around and you will see that in this chaos, more and more visible, you are more likely to live the truth of love, joy, peace, and soon, bliss. Silence. Again, even for this there is no question of believing anyone, but it comes to see you, you believe yourselves. If you try, and if you realize what I say, the results will be even faster. But remember that it is not sending a pain sedation intent but actually to welcome and let you cross. This is what creates the light, nothing else. This is what creates the resiliency to the sufferer. And this is what frees you from the weight of the suffering of others, releasing too, not by any desire, not by any reaction, even justified I repeat, but rather by the state which is not an acceptance within the meaning of renunciation, but rather, on the contrary. Silence. I will not go into details of the physiology of the human being, but however, and this has been demonstrated in many ways, is spontaneous resilience today. Of course, until now, we all thought that resilience was reserved for certain beings. And the presence of love and liberation and the ascension of the earth, 
resilience is also at the heart of each one, in the same way that bliss. Again, both are presented so increasingly clear. As you see, you noted at you to try. What I tell you is unstoppable because I am sure of the result. Silence. You are not here in the acceptance of suffering of any kind, yours or another, but you are actually by the lighting of the light and the intelligence of the light, in the resilience of the suffering, yours like any other. Again, of course, yet each according to the last final time frames ending, which are their own, and every day to watch the action. Joy will grow, you see it everywhere, but you see also a form, not accent of suffering, but awareness of the suffering that has always existed. Just today, it was hidden you. And the lighting was amputated light, or oblical did not allow to see things directly. Perhaps you suspect? Perhaps had you heard? Today this suffering bursts at the head of humanity, really and concretely. This is inevitable, too. But I would react to the new standards, these standards are the standards of love, peace, kindness, humility and resilience. Silence. Participant, thank you. Silence. Beloved do you argue? Or is it that you? Does it resonate with you? Or not? Participant, well I would say yes, in the background. In the form of time, I feel like, actually, react with violence and harm those people who harm but it is sure that it is in the reaction. The reaction is not always enlightened. Remember that even the torturer of children is just another part of you. This can be hard to take, accept, and yet if all is one, how do you want it to be otherwise? You would only react to your own violence because violence that touches you again, even if it is fully justified, if it touches you, is that it resonates with you. This does not mean that those who have no echo in them are the lack of heart, on the contrary, it means nothing to them, especially in this state of joy. So joy takes care of everything really, as the intelligence of the light takes care of everything. Everything is automatic and spontaneous. Adopt it and check it. Silence. Violence solves nothing, even if it is justified. It keeps the game of theater. Violence maintains the action and reaction, and crystallizes. Only decrystallizes love. And I repeat, the effectiveness and efficiency of what you are, at the junction of being and non-being will be millions of times more effective than reacting with violence. Silence. All that seems unbearable to you today will be crossed in the same way. And very quickly then, you will find that what you are, at the junction of being and non-being is really and concretely. Of course, in this particular phase, since the end of the primary defect, that is to say now since June 16th, you have exactly the number of months that passed, a number of days. You're now at 135 days. This means that yes, you have illuminated the scene in a big way. It lights up in your life, it lights up in the world of screen, and it's the lighting, the light, which overcomes all that, not your reaction. May you even innumerable, to be reacted against injustice, against predation, that you would create a war. War does not solve anything, it never leads to peace, ever. What you call peace, interval between two wars, is that diet the next war, nothing more, and nothing less. Predators never seek peace because they are not in peace. All this, all such attempts that match the history of mankind, 
and I speak only of modern times, you always showed, the war is permanent. It is not only the fact of declaring war between two countries, it is permanent because the limited fleeting consciousness, there cannot be anything other than war. The space for rest and life between the wars is not true peace. True peace has nothing to do with this world, absolutely nothing. All peace, all the satisfactions of this world, and you will realize many now, whatever those satisfactions that this is the most fabulous romantic encounter, be it the greatest satisfaction of your desires, what they are, is nothing compared to the joy and the bliss. If you live, you can only see, and you cannot oppose it. Silence. Beloved, have you anything to add? Participant, I think not. And I thank you for your response and your lighting. Silence. Then we go to the next procedure. Silence. Nobody wants to speak. Silence. I return then, since I have the opportunity, on what you have just expressed with respect to suffering. The lighting of light, not only reveal the atrocities of any kind, the suffering of any kind is actually resonate with that. What was you hide, when it is seen or as soon as you are informed, you come into resonance that you like it or not. You first enter into relationship. For this fact that compassion and the need to revolt, anger, act occurs, it is the lighting of light. So of course, in this plan and this project come true before your eyes, you will attend from all reactions. Those who react, you do not have to tell them not to react because their mission is precisely because this is how they will find love. Everything is in its place. Every conscience, every entity and every situation is exactly the right place to live what is now at, whatever you think, whatever you may say. Thus finalizes the ascension of the earth, by the gross manifestation of societal attitudes, behaviors of civilization. And beyond all responsibility or causality, remember that this is only related to the fear that this is only related to the lack of recognition of who we are. The most important of course is not to fix blame or blame but to exceed them ours as any other, the bomb of love, by the bomb of peace and joy, which is sufficient to himself. So actually as I said, countless brothers and sisters on the planet for various reasons, will get up, and already rising. You are just in the right place if you do not react, to wait the shock will happen, what you are doing already for countless years and now I would say to a degree and intensity like no other. This is now, it is immediately in you and everywhere. And when you see that there is no other solution than love, it is called resilience also, in part, well you can only be what you are. When you do not have no choice, there is only freedom. As long as you have a choice or believe you have the choice, you cannot be free. Silence. It's impossible. True freedom is not negotiable and it depends, ultimately, in any circumstance of this world, but just who you are. And if you are what you are in truth, then the relationship, resonance with the whole earth, all consciences, is real, very real. The number of brothers and sisters that you are now living at least peace, or to live the resurrection, or to live the purpose of the resurrection by bliss, wherever you are in your time frame, without exception you serve with the light intensity, you serve with intensity love. And I must say that it is you yourselves who have trigger this. So do not be alarmed. And instead go to the end of this love and who you are in this world, carry this same flame, the same peace, that same love. 
Everything else is done for itself, really and truly. Do we have a voice that rises? Voice, yes. Participant, exactly dear Abba, I would like to know if you can answer me, is that we had better get together to work and to help? Does it might be better for humanity that we all come together abbas, rather than stay? Beloved, it is a gathering, but it is not located in the gathering of people. It is the gathering of hearts that is the most important. Paradoxically, what you call your screens and virtual, as has been announced, is no longer in the binary matrix but Christ matrix. And you even have live daily, by the synchronicities, by seeing what happens when you simply think of a brother or sister, when you enter into resonance, in communication, you know very well that you do not need to see everyone. While the idea of bringing even recreate a form of community. There is no question to recreate communities of people. Call it community of light, but the light is everywhere, it does not require your presence flesh. The best rally is in you, because each of you is another. And this is not a figment of the imagination or a utopia, but the strict truth. If everyone is in you, you have to gather everyone you just. And you do not need to bring you in time or place, on the contrary, be free again. There will be no more strength if you are together. So of course, here you have experienced what you live who you obviously appears much more intense than you. But why? Not because I am here but because you are there. Do you think I would have the same intensity if you were not there? No. Neither you nor elsewhere. But this intensity then you live here, you will find her too, only by thought, by the Christ thought, by the Christ matrix. That's how you're effective. It is not in the pool or the gathering is in setting resonance in the linking and sharing your stories, questions as we lead here. But you do not need to see you in the flesh, even if it is always stronger. This is the multiplicity of those who are in this state, joy or bliss or peace, which is the most important. Everything starts from there. And you are already collected by the bliss because all is one. There is no better rally than this. Silence. Participant, it was obvious. Laughter. Participant, it was obvious. I realized in me by asking. Of course, there may be pulse regroup, they can be very strong, especially now because sharing is so important, because to get naked with each other is not voyeurism, and in addition is now resolutive. This is not a display of suffering, it is precisely the resilience of suffering. It is the disappearance of what he may remain in you. And that look, you live here because you are here, but those listening, who hear us or read us live it the same way. Ask them, you'll see. And this is new but it's the absolute truth. You can be sitting quietly at home, I do not even talk to be extended or to be prepared and take all creation in your heart, it is already there. And you simply will resonate, and like that, you're going to bring this love, where it is needed. You do not need to target, receivers because love is sown in your heart and it is deposited where it wants, where he is, not where you want. The intelligence of the light will still be much stronger than all your actions, all your experiences, because you are the intelligence of the light. So be smart, be connected, be resonant, be true. And enjoy spaces that are open to you, either here or elsewhere. Enjoy to exchange, to share, to talk about what you are going not to tell stories, not to complain, not to be helped, 
but to help yourselves. Do not hold anything. All just waiting to go out today, do not break. I speak not of reaction, as earlier on the issue that was raised first, but I'm just talking about this love, you are. This will be rehashed every minute because you cannot be anything other than love. You cannot be anything other than life, even through suffering, regardless of an human or intolerable side, and it is. And the best therapies is love, and what you are. You will notice also that the rest will not work, only work love. This will allow you to position yourself as accurately and as close, the heart of the heart, from the junction of being and non-being, the crossing of the Lord by the ephemeral. Silence. Voice, we have a question, or testimony. Participant, ah uh, yes, well I do not know how to call it but I'm sure it is the intelligence of the light that brought us here, with the group we have. Finally, it is easy, well, everything that happened and that will still happen until the end of the week, well, it's like having a little recharged our batteries then, yes, being alone, yet with much more love, everything what we have received. So it is useful to regroup. We cannot say that there is also much to be alone etc. I think if it's there, it's not for nothing. Absolutely. But for the rest by cons, it will be different. Not because there is something different which is made with ABBA, simply because the time is fulfilled. The end of the primary abnormality again, allows all this. So far and until June and July, countless brothers and sisters who have rubbed shoulders here, felt very well the difference between here and from here. The big difference today, you have seen those who were there the previous month, they still live this state of bliss and joy, even if there are fluctuations. There is no longer sinking, it is no loss. Countless siblings participating constatayant indeed bliss somewhere to be here, and then the shock on their way home. Today it's different. What was fed does not need to be replenished, because love is eternal, and it is a perpetual motion within stillness. It belongs to everyone, provided you have the opportunity to return home is not it. To see. Laughs you can laugh from time to time, you will see with ease that you will not lose what has happened, not because you are better or different, but because the environment at large, not only this place but the environment we might call the new sphere, the whole consciousness of consciousness that are there, is changed, because joy was born, because bliss touches or is experienced, and that there, what I called again there very few days that the oscillations are still living some. Siblings, will disappear, all alone, doing nothing, just being. Sure, you feel a difference, it is linked to our common presence and not to me. That's all that Abbas met here. And you know well that when we come together, even those who are absent are present in the heart, they will say, they'll testify everywhere. It's the truth. Then of course there is this amortization, a kind of shock by changing the environment. But very quickly, without latency, you find that you find exactly what you're going through here, now, and without any difficulty. Silence. The rally is from heart to heart, not from person to person. Especially that, indeed, you are still a person, a character who is there, even if it is softened, even if it is transparent, has still yet even some normal habits, which are not change simply life. Have characterologies, temperaments are different, and when you are actually, we replaced individually by the group ABBA, not just those who are there 
but all the others who are listening, we hear or we read. And everyone benefits, here as elsewhere. And indeed, there will be dissipation phenomenon, on the contrary. You'll see. I told you in November, you're almost there. But you will see very soon the truth of my words in their literal sense. You will remain more stable than before and regardless of whatever was or rather, your degree of stability and solidity. This is a certainty. This does not take you as an individuality, but it relates to the progression of light, and the unmasking of what you had forgotten, the bliss you are. Silence. In this state of love, this state of joy, of bliss, ecstasy, or simply peace, all of you know, whatever the doubts that assail you at times, there is no another truth. This will emerge more effortlessly, without thinking, without wanting to, because it is natural. Among the oldest, you were prepared, either by vibration, by history, to confront those moments. Whatever your position today, all those who followed, not me, but what was said by the ancients, the stars, the archangels, who lived yogas, who experienced all these steps, or who recently arrived, it makes no difference, because we are all in resonance, beyond the relationship. I am you as you are me. We are into each other in full. But as there is neither one nor the other, there is only the intelligence of light, there is only bliss, which is the true tabernacle. On countless mystics in the past you have said and you have testified. And this is not provided, for those of you who have a certain age, having attended some things, you've been transformed. You may have had experiences, certainly, but never stabilized. What you are living now is stable and will be more and more. This can only grow, this can only become more and more extensive, and continuously now. I spoke a few days ago, a minimum limit number or a number to make the event. It seems that in the space of two days, you have completed all the way, compared to what I stated. You see the progress in the space of three days, not only here of course, but from anywhere on earth. This is truth and true. Silence. Peace more simply, more joy or bliss and ecstasy, bliss, will manifest, the more you will acquiesce to that. It is obvious. You have no possibility to do otherwise. You can accept you, because you live it. This is certain, because lived. This is neither concept nor belief. This is not a projection linked to tomorrow or after tomorrow, it is not the result of an effort, not the result of an evolution, it's simply the truth, such that it has always been, as it never moved. Silence. Voice, there is a question. Participant, what about the earth in relation to the intelligence of the light? the geobiological and global level? Beloved, you ask me to explain a number of things that had been explained two years ago by the commander of the veterans on the accumulation of light, the adamantin particles, with the network that is connected from tree to tree, village of elves elf village, this is all very real. Leyland's or predation lines were black bullies, as said the man who had presented to you, that many years. The earth follows its ascension process, and the end, and updating rather, his freedom. So wherever you look, you can only see that which you had been explained, for example by dragons, especially Aralim, or the Arcturians for work on earth, especially to realize what you term of sinkholes, to alleviate the pressures of the earth so that the expansion of the earth as it was announced here a long time by the commander, is truly realized. 
But who cares? Since the purpose is not only the ascension of the earth in its new dimension, but the end of the myth of creation. Because as soon as you live this beatitude, either now or it is offset when the event, whatever, and you know for those who live, that can remain with desire and longing after that. What may remain necessary understanding, necessary forms, worlds or anything. This was well expressed by yourself also in the previous Abba in Abba we did earlier this afternoon. Everything is perfect, nothing is missing. Everything is clear. And yet, there is no form or world. And all that will live it, that is to say all of humanity because you cannot subtract you are, at the time of the event that can remain after such inclination to live another thing that eternal bliss? I challenge anyone, whatever his tendencies today to explore other universes or other dimensions, to want anything but to stay in this bliss when it will cohosh. So do not worry about that. Care about just. Then of course, you're quite right today to look at what is happening on earth. You're absolutely right to watch what happens in the sky. But it also will disappear at some point. There, of course, and you can see here as everywhere, you are very hungry for what happens on earth, for some not for everyone, not because there is an unhealthy voyeurism species, but because it accompanies you live. It's the same thing. Go beyond the appearance of appearance of pain or destruction. This is not a suffering, not destruction, it is a resolution. Everything depends on the perspective that you know. For the person, it is a destruction. For those who think to go somewhere else in them is an illusion. And for those who live the truth, it cannot be any doubt or any question, because you're at home despite the presence of the body, despite the presence of even residual elements of this world and this society, which you are inserted even if you are released. What do you do? The intensity of the signs, you know, is completely proportional to the intensity of your love, to the intensity of your joy, and intensity of bliss. There is a formal relationship, I set you there three days, and I am the first surprised to see that in the space of three days, you have managed this, much faster than what might have been thought, ever closer to you holiday, event you live individually. The holiday, this is far more than the joy, bliss is living, see that you are complete and whole in this. And everything else, without exception, has come and gone, as even your stellar origin is only passing. Silence. Nothing should limit yourself, within consciousness and within worlds. Only the ego and the person planning the destruction of creation. This is not destruction, nothing can be destroyed in what is a dream. Nothing can be destroyed which is a myth. Simply, even if you do not know it and cannot live totally, some of you remember some of their lives, because that life today is the direct result of some timelines that you have borrowed. But I remind you that you've all taken, but there are those that resonate with today. From there, it is useless to find an affiliation with any entity that you were, in the illusion, but rather to discover that you are the truth all without exception. Even the Archons are in you. Even the aggressor is in you, as well as Christ. Silence. Participant, thank you. Voice, he thanks you. How? Voice, he thanks you. Thank you all. We can continue then. Silence while you sleep or think. Voice, they think they reflect. I would like to point another element, whether you are new or old, you know full well that since the beginning of the year, 
many of us lived moments of microstase, printing no longer be there. Today you are totally there. And even if you fall asleep, the sleep is not the black hole, it is rather a form of bliss as if somewhere, as soon as you dive into what you call sleep, you bring this joy. And you'll see more and more often. So far, among those who were sleeping, you bring her back there, with some frustration. Yet the work was done. Today you will see as days and weeks, it will be profoundly different, because when you come back, you find that you are much more joy, more free. Because actually, as Biddy said, at different consciences, sleep is the absolute. Today, sleep makes you bring the absolute, in emanation, by the intelligence of the light and bliss, with laughter that grabs you and takes you. It takes you where that laugh? It takes you to complete relaxation. It will take you to the full opening to the truth. It makes you discover even here in this world, you are just the way, the truth, and the life, by being nothing, and from there, you are everything. This is not a role, this is not a mission, it is not a function, it is primarily the unchanging truth. And living this immutable truth is sufficient in itself. Everything else is superfluous. This also you'll see for yourself, for you, and around you, like all of creation. Many of you will start also lucidly, whether in their sleep, in moments of rest or impromptu get into paradise and white in this bliss, where there is no need form, where there is no need for identity. Lucidly you live, without having to be lengthened or from anywhere. And you'll even see his eyes open. This means that the light is there, not only as something that lines the world or that lines your cells, but is actually present in large quantities, from the moment you are in joy, from the moment you are in peace. And you see it. You already see for some of you. As I have had occasion to say, it occurs since the beginning of this year, since the last intervention of the commander, never existed in any solar system, even in the free worlds. Silence. What you are experiencing is simply the culmination of consciousness, the result of separate consciousness, suffering, predation, confinement, and the culmination of the origin of consciousness, the first joy, the first dream creation. All this is combined. I used the term rewind the film. When you rewind a movie you fold, or you unfold it depends on the perspective, the time and space, and you end the illusion of consciousness. There is only joy, that ye may be saturated joy. Thus you are true and genuine. So you are the most powerful action it is possible to carry out in peace on this earth. Silence. Voice, there's a question. A testimony. Participant Abba, a few months ago, late last year, I was struck by a clarion call that I did not understand right away. I, like I said, altogether changed region and left all my normal environment, to go to the other end of France. When I got there, it took a lot of effort, of course, but hey, I did not always understand right away why I was there. And then, little by little, things are made clear, were settled. I still lived fears, through things that I discovered because my faith, see certain things, truths, it is not always obvious, especially when it is done very quickly. I met some brothers and sisters slowly. And then, since I am here, since I listen to each other, well, these fears they disappeared, precisely because they are replaced by what we talk about. It was first a kind of serenity that I never had in life, 
a calm. And there, a joy, well then that's all what. I feel suddenly able to cross all this without any fear. Here. It's just what I meant. I give thanks to your words. But beyond the words of your person, obviously there too, you see here as elsewhere, the deployment of your Merkaba, because the word is carried by the voice now. And this is true for everyone, even if you do not realize yet. But it is also obvious. The word, the 11th body, located at the nasolabial fold, that is to say below the nose, in the middle of the upper lip, is a particular point. This point, which is related to the creative word, 11th core, during the genesis and maintenance of the body, that for many years, it was reported that the creative word would be the last to go into action. Of course it is back in action, and it was explained to you through the paraclete, this is already two to three years. Today is different again. This is supplemented if I can say, your word acts directly on the matter, it acts directly on consciousness. From the moment you enter the expression of yourself, either by words, by drawings, by paintings, by music, by any art you can imagine, when you interact an expression, so the resonance is set up. And within this resonance, of course, the Merkaba opens the Merkaba unfolds, and really, you can start to feel a perception of actual ascent, take off, or contrary to fall, it's the same do not be alarmed. In one way or another, ultimately, there is no meaning. Regardless, it is exactly that. This is more than a celebration, this is more than a wedding, it's the experience of the truth, yet despite the presence of this body and the remaining balances of the world. Silence. The word, you wear all now, whatever your mode of expression, each led to the great silence, great joy. See, you do not need to talk about spirituality whatsoever, or any energy whatsoever, or any star or a door. Of course they are there, of course they vibrate, of course you feel it, you live it for certain. Of course it's real, but it is less real than the truth. Truth does not clutter energy is not encumbered vibration, not encumbered awareness, or the world, or anybody, you are the truth. Silence. Voice, we come to the end. So beloved, time to let you in the great silence. And of course, and my ad right here, you'll get here present but also from around the world, a resonance. This resonance cannot be called a treatment. This resonance is simply, live the truth. Then of course, you do not need to be here. Moreover, countless siblings have already testified, without knowing what was happening, to have gone through the same thing you yesterday at 22.30 until midnight. See, it's automatic. As soon as one of us, here or elsewhere, gets underway at the truth, the truth is everywhere. That's to be into each other and find that there is one. This is bliss. And this is what you live. So Abba leaves you and says, He never leaves you as you are, we cannot leave us. But in any case, resonance will occur at 22.30. Whether you slept or not will not change anything. Whether you like it or not will not change anything. Participant, who does not want here. How? Participant who is not here. Voice, who does not want here. To laugh. Hear person. Laughter. But on earth many want to oppose it. All those who defend this dual spirituality, good and evil, cannot accept it. 
but all the others, yes. Blessed are the simple in spirit, blessed are the pure in heart, blessed are those who have been persecuted and have suffered because they have maintained their truth, whatever the destruction of their persons, their ideals, their lives. Today the truth is for you. Christ told you so, you realize, and you live. With that, I told you so, 2230. Participants, thank you. Goodbye.